where talent meets passion and competition meets camaraderie. This is College Disc Golf. Join us, sharpen your skills, and forge friendships. And maybe, just maybe, become a legend. Your journey starts here. Are you in? Welcome back to Rock Hill, South Carolina for the 2024 College Disc Golf National Championship presented by Innova. This is the fourth and final round of the Division I men's team competition here at College Nationals. I'm Nathan Johnson, joined in the booth today by Nick Hansen. How's it going, Nick? It's going good. I'm excited for this last day. We're going to have some better weather than we've had all three previous days, I feel like. So hopefully we can see some good scoring conditions out here with these doubles teams going at it. Yeah, these two teams and the rest of the field making a push for that national championship. We saw UNC Charlotte throw down a fire round yesterday out at the Westminster East course. We're back here at the Winthrop Lake front course today, looking to close out that national title. Yeah, let's get right over to hole one, 701 feet par four. Players are going to be trying to get out into this area here, so they then have a straight shot at the hole. As we've seen in previous rounds, angle control is so important here. UNC Charlotte with a four-stroke lead over NC State and the rest of the field currently. If you didn't watch our round three coverage, we've got collegiate doubles format which means we have two separate pairs from each team that are gonna play best shot doubles, and those two pairs will alternate shots. So we have Tom Shanley here from UNC Charlotte, or Stanley, sorry, and we have Owen Rice also taking the odd holes for UNCC. Owen lining up the roller here, the aggressive line. Yeah, good line to throw with uh your teammate already in the fairway there. NC State on the other side of this lead card. We have Gus Jones right here, paired with Liam McWhorter. They'll be teeing off on those odd holes as well. Very slow approach, but that side arm is going to get down in the realistically, you know, birdie landing zone. Pretty much anything in the 350 plus range off the tee here will set you up for a nice shot into the green. We're going to see the aggressive line here from Liam trying to go turnover. Just a little overcooked there, but not a problem with this teammate at bounce. Maybe a little longer approach than what I thought they would have. This is pretty technical backhand to be throwing. Yeah, very touchy. Tough to get the angle right. This is Zach Guess throwing this backhand shot into the green there. Leaks out a little early into the lake. We'll see if his teammate Logan Edelman is able to make the correction. This is looking good. Just going to be a little short, though. Smart play. We're in bounds, and we have a chance at birdie. Yeah, circle two birdie puck coming up. Now we got back over to UNC Charlotte. This is Jack Lang with the forehand into the green. Gets a nice little skip. Put them right around circle's edge. And Glenn Fister, the fourth and final member, rounding out this UNCC team. Pretty good forehand, but I'm going to finish up the hill, probably just outside of 35. You know, see how the putting is for these two teams today. Pretty windy, windy day out there on the course. These circle's edge putts are going to be key if either of these teams are going to be able to make a push for the national title. Just a little off on both of those here to start. 
Let's see if uh, UNC Charlotte can pick up where they left off yesterday. Bit left there from Tom. Oh, I'm looking to make the correction, but just a bit high. Maybe a little early round wow. nerves for these two teams. Haven't quite settled. Yeah, in. I don't. I don't think we watched them miss a putt as a pair yesterday. I think their only pars came when they were out of position. Yeah, I would have to agree there. Hopefully, uh, they'll be able to settle in here soon and get back on track. All right, hold to 456 feet. As you see, OB there on the left. We're going to see maybe some shots out and around for a safe shot, and then a second shot, maybe go for it over the water. Yep, Jack Lang lining up that big spike hyzer. Definitely the safer play like you mentioned, Nick. Plenty of real estate over there on the right-hand side. Never really brings the water into play, so this pretty much secures the par. Just that. Hanging it out a little left, though. This is going to need a lot of action. Then it's going to come up a few feet short of the water, or the shore there. Yeah, just hung it out a bit too wide. Looks like there's a bit of a right to left crosswind as well. So any disc that gets over to Annie, probably not coming back. This is looking really nice. The spike hyzer from Logan. Okay. Out there in circle Yeah, we like two. that. What, about a 40 footer or so? Yeah, and you'd like to see at least one of the two, but we'll see if uh, Zach is able to improve on it. But either way, with that water behind, you'd like to see at least one of the two guys come up and give that a run. Charlotte's out here in the 80 feet beyond circle two land. So the layup on the first shot makes a lot of sense. to be safe <laughs> yeah both safe should have gave that second one a little more of a run but understandable from that distance oh nasty putt from Gus Jones top shelf and a little bit of a stare down after cannon that one in the huge crosswind it's a great way for NC that's State. a big putt early nerves here able to clean it up easy I was gonna say easy work for his partner there as we get into hole number three 371 feet par three OB on the left side deep uh, if you do go out of bounds you do go to the drop zone Fading out a bit early. No help from those trees there, so it's going to drift into the OB. We'll see what uh, NC State decides to do here. Looks like Gus is lining up the aggressive line as well. Hey, I like to play. Stay aggressive after that last putt you just had. It's going to be a little high. Fall in bounds. They should be able to get up and down pretty easily for a three. Yeah, not a bad result there at all. Anything in bounds on this hole is a good result. Charlotte looking to grab their first birdie of the round still. This is looking nice if it gets a little finish. Oh, no way. Just gets absolutely wow. wrecked by the rocks. Really tough break. That was looking really nice. We can't say, but that looked like he was skipping back in and going to be close. Oh my goodness. What a shot. Very unfortunate from both of them there. Yeah, both of those 50-50 kind of shots could have stayed. You rarely hit sea discs hit this sand and skip into that water. Usually the sand does a pretty good job of kind of catching the disc and keeping it in bounds. So 
Nice little layup there from NC State. Going to have a tap in par. And Charlotte now putting from the drop zone for the save. NC State here able to pick up another one early. If they can just connect here. And they do, yeah. Charlotte started the round with four strokes. And that is already down to two, just three holes in. Hole four, 284 feet, triple Mando. We've seen a lot of players just lay up to that mouth instead of trying to pierce the gap. Excited to see how these teams attack today. Yeah, I'd like to see these guys get a little aggressive in the doubles round. This one's pulled a bit, but nice little kick back to the That hole. was aggressive, though. It was. We'll take that. No excuse not to get aggressive again here. Logan Edelman lining up the oh. backhand, looking nice. Oh, just a little too high there, catching the top of that triple Mando. They'll have about a 40-footer coming up, though. Those bamboo is about 40, 45 short of the basket, so still a very makeable putt. This is early released. And that one's going to be across the line, head to the drop zone. Big shot coming up here to stop the bleeding. Charlotte one over through. Oh, no. It hangs on, but that's going to be a oh. tough scramble. I know it stayed safe, but that's a tough one from there. Thumber roller. Giving him a chance, but could maybe even get closer just by pitching it to the mouth. Yeah, and I think that's what Tom's going to do. Just a little backhand Annie. Going to give them like a circle's edge putt. Yep. Just like that. NC State can put some serious pressure on if they're able to hit this one from about 40 feet. Ooh. He's missed both of his, you know, circle's edge putts right now by about a half a foot. Oh my gosh, Gus Jones has come to play. That's his second circle two putt of the round that he has canned. Wow. Oh, as that chains out. Jack Lang looking for some, just anything right now to get his team back on track. Ooh. This NC State team is feeling it right now after those misses. Yeah, you, they are now in the driver's seat. 100%. You can feel the momentum just completely shifted. All right, we're into hole five, 697 feet, par four. Multiple choices here off the tee. You're going to be OB right and left, though, so you've got to keep it straight. As we funnel into here... We're going to reveal the green. This is a very tough birdie. It's shown that over the week. Um, hopefully one of our teams can grab one. Yeah, a lot of different options to go with off the tee here. We're seeing Gus opt for that wide forehand route. You may see some folks go flex forehand up yeah. the middle. You may see some folks go kind of a pushing backhand hyzer down the right-hand side. Uh, kind of just go with whatever shot you're most comfortable with here. Fortunately, turning it over out of bounds again, but that's all right. They're already in the fairway. Nope. 
Nice one for UNC Charlotte. Yep, anything in the fairway here is fine. It's really that second shot where the danger comes into play. This has one tree to miss, and it does. As long as that sits before the OB, ah, oh, just a little too far and left. You know, I don't mind that shot, though, for a second one. Get yourself an extra 60 or 70 feet and give you, a, you know, a better look at getting up and down for birdie. This, this shot's probably going to be maybe 70 feet or so still. Yeah, out in deep circle two at best. Just caught some late cabbage there. And this one is just going to be low out of the hand, so. Another door opened for NC State. We'll see if they can take advantage. Very demanding shot here on the fifth. Just a bit overcooked there. Oh, and look at that. It does come out, and they're going to be sitting at about 40 feet or so. I don't know how much that bush is going to be in their way, but they've got a chance to get another stroke. Yeah, deep circle two looks for Charlotte coming up. Got to try to give this a run, but definitely a bonus putt. Not a bad effort. Not a bad run at all. Looks like that okay. bush is coming into play a little bit, kind of having to straddle out. Little Annie putt. Oh, again? He's on fire, folks. Gus Jones putting the team on his back right now. His third wow. circle two putt in five holes. The man is on a mission. Wow. Okay. These boys came to play today, folks. They really did. As we move into hole six, 588 feet par four. You have a large OB area to the left here. Players are going to throw out to the right and then throw over it. definitely one of those holes where you likely see one player play the short layup just to put something in bounds and then maybe see somebody go a little more aggressive off to the right hand side of the large OB bubble demanding tee shot though with this low ceiling And, you know, I don't mind that spot that they're laying up to. It gives you, you know, a pretty good hyzer, but the landing zone is just not very long. You only have about 30 to 60 feet, depending on where you're at. Yeah, very tight green, too, that they're going to be throwing into here. But probably about 360, 370 into the green from this landing zone that these players are laying up to. So still very reasonable up and down as long as you've got your distances dialed. Swing's nice, gonna have a circle's edge putt. Tricky little crosswind here. It looks like this is a bit wide. I don't think it's gonna come back in time just a bit short, but they've got a birdie putt coming up. See if NC State could take a wind read away from those two shots. This is looking pretty good. Oh, very nice. They are jacked right now. This is awesome to yeah, see. Yeah, just riding that momentum. Something that you don't see a lot in disc golf just because of the individual nature of the sport, but NC State really using that team aspect and energy to their advantage right now. You love to see it. Oh, no. Oh. UNC Charlotte just cannot catch a break on this front nine. This would be a big putt. Oh, just off right side. 
Yeah, you're, I, you said it well, Nick. They can't catch a break. Just everything that seemingly could go wrong has gone wrong so far for this UNC Charlotte team. As we move into hole seven, 331 feet, par three, you're going to have this OB kind of area all the way around the basket. There's basically a circle you can land at. There's area to the left, but everyone's going to be attacking right at the green. Yeah, this is a pretty similar shot to what they just threw um, for their second shots on the last hole. So pretty much just grab the same disc, throw it on a nice wide hyzer, and stick something in towards the green. He doesn't like it. Oh, and yeah, I see why there. Just a little short still. I was going to say, it looked right on line. Yeah, just a bit low out of the hand. They'll have a long birdie putt coming up. UNC Charlotte needs something. Something here to get their round going in the right direction. Yeah, that's a good start right there. About an 18-footer or so for birdie. This one looks even better. Scoots it up there. Well inside the circle. Keep the pressure on for NC State. Just a bit low. And a bit high. And just a bit high, yeah. <laughs> Combine those two and they'd be in. First real opportunity for Charlotte to get a stroke back and they take advantage. Nice putt there from Jack Lang to grab the birdie. Should be, I believe, their first birdie of the round. Quite the opposite from what we saw yesterday, starting out nine for nine. But hey, they're still in this thing. Yeah, we there's plenty of time left, and especially at this course, hole eight, 734 feet. You're gonna see plenty of hazard areas along this fairway. So placements is very important here. Yeah, you really got to commit to which landing zone you're going for right away. This looks like this short landing zone, about 280 feet off the tee. That's well thrown from Jack. But that's going to leave UNC Charlotte about 400 plus feet into the green. So they'd really like to get this one inbounds a little farther up the fairway. Oh, look at that. They do. Really nice forehand. I like being on that top side personally, just because I want to throw a forehand again in, and then you're going from high to low. Yeah, definitely. And just skips back into the hill nice. Yeah, it makes this hole play a lot easier. This one is kind of in between. Yeah, it just catches that OB bubble, or I think technically a hazard bubble, between the two landing zones. Puts a lot of pressure here on Logan to get something in balance. It's going to be pretty short, but they are at least in bounds. Yeah, this is going to play probably close to 450 into the green. So pretty big forehand. Oh, okay. I, I, this looks like a layup. Smart play. Oh. Oh, it leaks OB. It's right into the hazard. Oh, man. Yeah. Yep, and he's going to a he's going to what looks like a zone to make sure they're up there safe. Wow. Okay. Huh. Yeah, not not something you see too much in doubles playing for par, but on a hole like this, not necessarily a bad strategy, especially. You know, I think they know where they're at, and they're just trying to play exactly that the strategy game at this point. There's plenty of holes left. They don't need strokes, but they do need to make sure they get a par. Definitely need to secure the par. They should be able to do that from where they're at. Charlotte, though, looking to make a move. That shot from Tom ended up pretty close. Going to be a nice birdie putt. This is a nice shot as well. Comes up a bit short from, from Owen, but also inbounds. Yeah, they got options, we'll say. Oh, and this needs to get back in a hurry. Hmm. 
unfortunately not able to. And a lot of pressure on this shot. A lot of pressure here. Yeah. Especially with the potential for rollaways on this green. You can stick it close, but it's going to be high on the hill. He didn't love it, but it's inside the circle. Yeah, not a bad shot at all hitting high on the hill on this hole. You kind of, most of those forehands are just going to stick. Whew. Even on the edge there for NC State, able to save the par, though. That was a stressful hole all around for those guys. Yeah, important par save, though, like we were talking about. Good par save, and with that putt, Charlotte grabs the birdie, and we are back to being all tied up yet again. All right, hole nine, downhill, 449 feet. You have that OB circle on the right as well on the backside. They both play as hazard, so you would play it from where it lies. Seen a bunch of sidearms so far this week here. Yeah, plenty of room out there to the left, and this slope catches the sidearm nicely. So if you can get the distance right, definitely seems to be the play. And that is really well thrown there. This uh, doesn't quite come out. A little overturned. It's going to find that OB bubble. Okay. He didn't like it out of the hand, but it looks like a good line. Okay. We'll take that right about the circle's edge, I'm thinking. Yeah, not a bad shot at all. Good, Great distance control on that one. Important on this hole, that OB deep left comes into play if you give it a little too much. Jack Lang on that birdie putt. Maybe just outside the circle here for Charlotte. Bit uphill. Oh, let's go. That's a huge. I think they're back. They are definitely back. That's three birdies in a row for UNCC after that putt from Glenn Pfister. And maybe NC State feeling the pressure now. Kind of turning the tables. Yeah, they, they put it on them early and... I came storming back on him, so. Oh, but there's a good putt. Nicely done. Man, we're seeing some action here today. We are. Logan Edelman with a nice putt there to close out our front nine. Like you said, Nick, we are seeing some action. These two teams are all tied up at the top, and there are teams on the chase card and down the leaderboard that are making their own pushes as well. It's going to be an exciting finish. Yeah, look at these scores right here, going into our back nine. Can't wait to watch it, so make sure you guys tune in. For Nick Hansen and myself, Nathan Johnson, we got nine holes left here. We'll see you there.